For Samara Lalo, following her passion for the arts was a path she was determined to pursue for as long as she could remember. It was no surprise when she delved into the roles of acting and producing, thus creating a name for her brand and even gaining international attention for her most recent short film, Vulnerable. I got into the arts when I was quite young. Um, my mother actually put me into a camp with Curtis Gross and that's when I found like, ah, I really like this. And then when thinking, oh, what do I want to be when I grew up? When I saw teachers, uh, scientists, doctor, uh, all those things. And I was like, no, I'm going to be on TV. For Samara, working on her own projects gives her a sense of fulfillment. She explains why Vulnerable is one of her most significant films to date. Vulnerable is it showcases or it actually explores how one fares when they have to go through difficulty to get back to okay, you know, or getting back to yourself when you have been broken, when you have been down, really um, sad or anything. For my role in Vulnerable, um, I had two roles, one of executive producer and one of the lead actress. And as the lead, uh, it was very much cathartic. Um, I, I don't think I had to play a role because it was simply Taylor Swifting my breakup, you know? So <laughs> that was the emotions, everything was there. And, and I was there at that time. And so it really um, shows art as healing. According to Samara, connecting with her audience through her films plays a crucial role in evolving and changing negative circumstances. She says she's thankful for the positive feedback the film has received thus far. For the film so far, I've gotten a lot of positive responses. It showed that we had a really good product and we do have something strong, a strong story that connects and resonates with people. To win an award and to make it to the semi-finals of the uh, interna LA's international, not international, sorry, the LA's Women's Independent Film Awards um, was really, really satisfying. Samara admits that executing her vision while juggling various roles would not be possible without a strong support system. We had an amazing young uh, lady who uh, did the score. It's an original score and she did the sound effects and stuff. And another talented young producer who mixed and mastered. Awesome, awesome. I have to hit Tish because she is a, such a boss editor and colorist and just filmmaker on her own right and Shea for directing and helping me build that visual script. My director Shea Best actually um, won Best Director in the New Wave Film Festival in Munich, Germany last year. So that was quite um, something to be proud of. Despite her accomplishments, Samara admits that there are still challenges which exist as it relates to budget and finding key persons who share her vision. Here in Trinbigo, it's quite difficult to sustain a creative uh, a creative career simply because most people don't understand what that means to have a creative career and those with the funding and the finances don't understand the process so and what it really costs to create this. For Samara, being recognized on an international platform brings her one step closer to achieving her dreams. This young actress and producer says she still has a long way to go to inspire change in the local film industry. For now, in my lifespan, <laughs> I'm doing what I can to build this industry in Trinidad and Tobago uh, by educating others through my production company and my Instagram page, and as well as I'm writing a feature, and I, I'm also doing a Random Connects with Tiny, which is my own little show that could bring a different form of entertainment and still have that connectivity with people that we may know or people that we don't know yet, you know, and just showcase people of Trinidad and Tobago. Samara urges other creatives like herself to follow their passion and be the change you want to see. I am Keisha Marie Charles, giving voice to Generation Next for TTT News.